Next is Michael Perez. Hey, John, keep up the awesome work. So Noah Hawley has met with Kevin Feige about the possibility of making a Doctor Doom movie. However, nothing is imminent. My question is, do you think Kevin Feige will let this project happen? And what are the possibilities of solo movies for Gambit and other Marvel characters happening once the Disney-Fox merger happens? Okay, so just so you guys know what Michael's specifically talking about, as you guys all know, Doctor Doom, Fantastic Four, X-Men, all that stuff is under the purview of Fox. The Fox and Disney deal is finally closing next week on the 20th. So that's when it closes. So what has happened here is Noah Hawley, who is, of course, he's the showrunner of um, uh, Fargo, but he's also the creator and showrunner of Legion, right? And he made a stir at Comic-Con uh, a while back when he let everybody know I'm developing a Doctor Doom movie. And everybody freaked out because everybody seems to love Legion. And it's like, this guy is making a Doctor Doom movie and everybody lost their mind. Now, then it all went completely silent. Now, of course, the merger of Fox by Disney has probably thrown a bit of a wrench in that stuff. And basically, they went on to tell the story in a recent interview. Noah went on to tell the story that he has indeed met with Kevin Feige. And in that meeting, Feige specifically asked him, hey, are you still working on Dr. Doom? Noah said to him, uh, yeah, you should read it, and apparently sent him something and has not heard back from Feige after that. So he sent him the script. He said, oh, yeah, you should read it and send him a script, but he's not heard back. Now, he goes on to say this. I would love to make it. This is Noah Hawley saying, I would love to make Dr. Doom. Marvel... They've got a 25,000-year plan. <laughs> I just don't know if I fit into it. Now, I'm sure that comes from a being a little bit discouraged by the fact that, you know, he's said, hey, Kevin, you should read the script, and Kevin never got back to him after that. I'm sure that's a little bit discouraging. But, Robert, I would suggest this. I would suggest that Kevin Feige, whether, let's take whether he's interested in Dr. Doom or, or not out of it for a second. Kevin Feige, and I've been trying to tell people this all year, even if Kevin Feige is dying to make a Doctor Doom movie, Noah should not be discouraged by him not getting back to him because he can't get back to him. I have been trying to tell people this all year. Kevin Feige can't do anything with the Fox stuff until this deal is closed. If he did anything with the Fox stuff, if he started taking scripts that were written and starting, that's called collusion. That's called, that would be seen, that could be seen by the government overseers on this whole thing and, and giving all the approvals of it as acting in bad faith. Kevin Feige has had to stay an arm's length away from anything involving Fox until the deal is closed. Yeah. And, and all of a sudden, if it came out now, that Kevin Feige was doing a little bit of behind the scenes stuff, talking to them, working stuff out anyway, that could throw up red flags and you'd be jeopardizing a $71 billion deal for what? A Dr. Doom movie? You're going to put that whole thing at risk for that? So if I was talking to, to Noah Hawley, I'd say, hey man, don't read anything into the fact that Kevin Feige hasn't gotten back to you yet because he can't. He can't. He can't do anything that looks like he's doing things inappropriately. And I bet you that once March 20th comes and goes, Kevin Feige and Noah are going to have a phone call. Now, maybe it'll be Kevin saying, hey, man, I read your script and it's shit. Or maybe it's, man, I love the idea of doing a doctor, whatever. I guarantee you Kevin Feige and Noah Hawley are going to be having another conversation after the 20th. But up until now, there's nothing that can be said there. And I'll tell you what else, Robert. I think... Now, you know, I'm, I'm usually the one trying to caution everybody on the whole excitement. Oh, put this guy in a movie and put this guy in a movie. But I'll tell you what, I think Doctor Doom, even in the current state of the MCU, I think this is a villain that fits beautifully into the tapestry of the MCU right now. I think this is a character and a villain that they could take and utilize in a number of different properties. You don't just have to use Doctor Doom in a uh, Fantastic Four. Hell, there are some classic stories in the comics with Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom. Like, you, I mean, you can put Doctor Doom with Black Panther. You can put, you, he's just such a versatile character that you can leverage and use. I think Kevin's going to be very interested in, in getting some discussions going about Doctor Doom quickly. But I don't know, Rob, you heard about all this. What's your impressions of it? Well, I think you're 
dead on. I mean, they can't, that's why they haven't said anything. Marvel can't say anything about what they're planning to do because of how you laid it out. I mean, that is collusion that, that they can't have any, this is such a giant deal. They don't want any whiff of impropriety of any kind. And, but look, Dr. Doom is, is the Lex Luthor of the Marvel Cinematics Universe. He's, he's the number one villain, but he is only a human being, you know, he's, leader of his country he's 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 somebody that can be, be menacing to the entire marvel cinematic universe for years and dec if not decades to come so how they're going to handle him is going to be they're going to handle him very very carefully and they're going to bring him into the mcu i think in a big spectacular way and noah hawley was doing some kind of a one-off i mean as as we all know from what happened to say the original ant-man i mean when you, you you have to start thinking in terms of their entire tapestry rather than doing a movie about one guy. It just doesn't work that way anymore. How is this all going to fit in? How's that, how are you, they going to make it work? What do you think about my assessment, though, that I, I think that this is a character that you could take and almost plug in anywhere in the MCU almost right away? Do you think that totally you agree. Think that have to do I totally agree. Totally agree with you, because Doctor Doom is, has, has confronted almost everyone in the MCU. I mean, he's, he's like I said, he's their big bad, and uh, it, it's it's... He's the granddaddy. What, you know, why we have the, cosmic... Oh, sorry. I was going to ask you, what was the... Um, oh, I'm forgetting the name. There's this classic comic story where Doctor Strange and Doc, Doctor Doom kind of like becomes the apprentice to Doctor Strange and they try to get, I, I think his mother out of hell or something like that. Well, it's, this is a cla it's a classic one and I'm, I'm freezing on yeah, it. Anyway, I, I'm sorry. I interrupted you. What were you, you we going to be saying there? Well, no. I mean, like I was going to say that he's interacted with just about every hero in in the marvel universe at some point and like you said you could plug him in anywhere and he could like you said team up with dr strange if he needed to right. he's done that before as well so i i think look dr doom is so closely associated though with the fantastic four that mm -hmm. they'll probably i would imagine introduce them together like they he you know we've seen it happen they, they have dr doom has not been well served <laughs> no. in the movie but, so far. But do you think and, that could give him some pause? The, the fact that we've seen Doctor Doom with the Fantastic Four in all of the failed Fantastic Fours, do you think that might give a Kevin Feige some pause about maybe going back to that well again? Or do you think it just makes it all the more important to go back and do that again? No, I think it makes it all the more important. I mean, they learn, they know that Doctor Doom is such a staple of the Marvel Universe that it's got to be handled really, really well. And everybody wants to see a great Doctor Doom. I mean, imagine the casting for the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been so spot on. I can't even imagine who's going to play Doctor Doom, who's going to be Victor Von Doom. I don't know, but it's you know it'll be great, whoever they pick. I'm looking forward to it, if they, however they do it. Because I love right. Doctor Doom. Yeah, if, if they use him right. <laughs> if right. they use him right. right. 